Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Bruce. I'm with the Jordan Hall Imaging Facility in the Biological Sciences Department at Clemson University. And today I'm just going to be talking a little bit about choosing the right kind of container to grow your cells in. So here on the table I have a variety of different types of cell chambers that you can use to grow cells in, as well as the traditional cover slip and slide. Depending on whether you're doing live cell imaging or fixed tissue imaging, it's going to make a difference in what you're going to need to use for your samples. If you're doing live cell work and you're going to be using an inverted microscope, you need to make sure that whatever container you choose has a covered glass bottom. These are lab tech chamber slides. You can get these in different varieties. We have a two chamber, four chamber, and eight chamber variety. All of these can be used for individual seeding of cells and they all have a cover glass bottom. The important thing to remember for the cover glass bottom is to ask your facility director what type of cover slip correction the objectives that you're going to be using have. It's very important to match that with the number cover slip on the bottom of these lab tech slides. These are 1.5s here at Clemson. We have microscope objectives that are corrected for a cover slip of 0.17 millimeters thickness, and so it's important that we match that. Also available are mat tech or chambered petri dishes. These have, you'll notice, an inset of a cover glass bottom so we can grow the cells right on top of the cover glass and then image directly through. Now if you're not using these for live cell imaging, then you can also do fixed cell just using slides and cover glass. I suggest using a small petri dish and a cover glass to seed your cells on. For the cover glass, you want to make sure that you have a nice fine point tweezer, needle point tweezers. A good pair is a good investment. Make sure that you're only taking one cover slip. This is very important. And these are 1.5 cover glasses as well. You only want one. If you get it too thick, you're not going to be able to see through to do your imaging. You want to sterilize these, so you would dip this in ethanol and then flame sterilize. Once it's cool, you simply lift off the top of your petri dish and deposit the cover glass. You can do several of these at once and have them available for use. And then when you go to use one, what you want to do is put it in your hood and UV sterilize for 10 to 15 minutes before plating your cells. So depending on what you're doing, these are all options available to you. 